Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I just hit my first 100 subscribers today, so thank you so much. For today's video, I'm gonna show you how I draw a portrait from start to finish. I am not a professional painter and I just started drawing again a few months ago, so I did not buy a lot of art supplies. This is the A5 Edger sketchbook, hot press. I have used about five different types of watercolor papers and this is my favorite. This is the Leningrad 24 color set. Mechanical pencil. Eraser. And this is the only brush I use for this painting. A palette for mixing color. My reference photo, Jiu Ji Hoon character from Kingdom. My camera and light. When drawing eyes, pay attention to the distance between the two eyes and the distance between the eye and the brows. The width of his nose is exactly the same as the distance between his two eyes. And because he's looking up to the camera, his nose in this photo appears to be quite long. It's about double the width of one eye. The left side of his mouth shouldn't be too far to the left like this, so I'm gonna fix it later. You can use your pencil to constantly compare what you're gonna draw next with what you already had on the paper to get the ratio as precise as possible. So far, I don't think my sketching look like Ju Ji Hoon that much, but I'm gonna try to fix it. I usually spend about 5 minutes to check on the ratio to make sure that I got everything right. So this is my sketch after I erase some unnecessary pencil marks and fix certain spots that I'm not happy with and I'm gonna start painting. I usually start with a layer of bright green for the dark area, carefully leave the brightest spots totally white. Add another layer of green to define one more level of darkness. In this step, if you prefer using blue or teal, it's fine too. Just remember to mix it with a lot of water so the cold shade wouldn't be too strong. After that, I'm gonna use a yellowish color for the second layer. After finishing with uh, green and yellow, I almost use only red color for the later layers of the skin tone. I've been practicing drawing Asian portraits so I find this method is very effective to blend the Asian skin tone.
from this point, I just look for spots that I feel like it's not dark enough to add more red or brown, or any dark color I feel like using. But using enough red is important if you want the portrait to look healthy. But if you want it to look artistic with creative color choice, then just care about how dark it should be. Don't worry about the color choice. Be careful to leave out the light shade for the pattern on his headband. I am not good at drawing hair, so I'm just gonna treat it as simple as I could. So it's time to start adding some shade to the eyes. It's not good to leave it white for too long. It looks like he's gonna shoot laser from his eye or something. Be patient and add in more red layers to his skin tone. I think it's very important to be patient while using watercolor, especially when you're a beginner. Just enjoy the process of adding more and more color to the painting. I use the tip of the brush to draw the eye. I am very careful when I draw the eye because I don't want to paint on the white spot of his eye.
I think I'm gonna stop here. I could continue, but if I'm going too far, I might ruin everything I painted so far. So this is the Crown Prince Yi Chang from my favorite Korean drama Kingdom. Thank you for watching and please press subscribe if you like my content.